hello and welcome to my channel good morning good afternoon good evening good night depending on your time zone as you watch this video i greet you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ i'm excited to be here to share another spiritual insight word with you today we're going to be talking about the issue of a time expiration date and destiny exchange did you know that for every evil exchange there is an expiry date attached to it. Yes, there is an expiration date attached to every destiny exchange, every evil exchange that happens. And this is a spiritual law. We're going to be talking about this based on biblical truths, so spiritual laws and principles based on the Bible. And we will be looking at what to do with this information so that you can be successful in the restoration of your God-ordained destiny in order to live the life that God has created for you to live in alignment with what is written in the book of destiny about you. That is in Psalms 139 verse 16. Yes, let us just get started right away. So I'm going to start with Psalms 37 verse 7. What does it say? It says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. It tells us to be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret. I will just start by saying that. When people carry out their evil and their wicked schemes, God knows what has taken place. There is nothing that happens without his knowledge, okay? That is number one. Number two, I'm just going to get into now the meat of today's discussion. Every evil has an expiration date. Why is this the case? Because in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, it tells us that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Here it says heavens, not heaven. Heavens, which is plural. And this reminds me of what Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, which is that there is an, a third heaven. Where God is seated is the third heaven. That's the highest heaven. And then in between us and that, there is a second heaven. What is this second heaven all about? This second heaven is where we have what? Paul also talks about in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, the principalities, the powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, the spiritual wickedness in high places. These are the different rank and the hierarchy of the kingdom of darkness. It is situated in the second heaven, okay? And then there is us. So going back to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, which says there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. This include both the highest heaven and the second heaven and us here on earth. Everywhere, all through these dimensions, all through these different levels, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, okay? Very, very important for us to know. Why is this important? How is it connected to destiny and destiny exchange, destiny manipulation and destiny restoration? It is because for even that destiny exchange that has taken place, for that destiny of yours that somebody has stolen, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. That means that the season of your loss, the loss of your destiny, that is a season. And the activities that have taken place within that season that have brought so many tears to you, there is a season for that. There is a time for that. And then that season will change. As surely as the sun raised, rises up in the morning and sets in the evening, there is a season for that. So that season has a time frame associated for it. It is not forever. There is a season associated for it because 
there is also another season that has already been scheduled the opposite of that one so the time or the season when your destiny exchange has happened the season of your loss without your destiny you're struggling you're suffering you're in pain you're suffering rejection loss scarcity you know all these things that are part of the destiny exchange what you are left with in exchange of your beautiful destiny that god has created for you it is only for a particular season it is these are the activities associated with that season but when the season changes then all those things will also change all those things will also shift you know so that is important for us to know that the destiny exchange period is for a season it is a season and it will change all right that is very very key now i'm moving on to talk about destiny exchange and expiration dates why is it important to know the expiration date or that there is an expiration date it is important for us to know because there are certain things that you can do, all right, based on the expiration date. If you know this information, then you can do something about it, right, to change the outcome. As we are told in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, my people perish from the lack of knowledge. If you don't know that there is an expiration date, and more importantly, you don't even know what to do with that information about the expiration date, then you can not take the steps that you're supposed to take in order to have your destiny restoration happen successfully without delay when you don't know about the expiration date and what you're supposed to do what results in this is delay so now you start to suffer delay in your destiny restoration but when you are aware of the expiration date and what you are to do then you can avoid the delay let's get into the meat of it right so with the destiny exchange if you've watched my previous videos where i talked about how this happens i say that with a destiny exchange there is a person who is responsible for your destiny exchange there is a body that is responsible for your destiny exchange somebody who has went to an evil altar somewhere and facilitated that exchange for your destiny to be stolen, to be manipulated, to be buried, to be taken away from you. There is a person. It is not just spirits that are doing this without any direction of, of anyone. There is someone who has went and placed this request and facilitated this exchange. Okay? That is very, very important. You may not know this person, but there is a person. All right, there's a person. If you start fasting and praying, God will be able to reveal the identity of that person to you. But just know that there is a person. So if you don't know who it is, first step is to start fasting and praying for exposure for God to reveal who the person is. Now, that person who went to an evil altar somewhere to use spiritual methods, right? They went to a muti person, they went to a or Obia Waka, they went to Amganga, Jujuman, Mchawi, whatever person, practitioner of kingdom of darkness to facilitate this exchange spiritually. Then now that person has gotten them to do certain things. They are to do certain things that will signify an agreement to have your destiny exchanged or taken from you. All right. Now, these things that they are getting you to do are the ones that are giving them the legal right to actually take your destiny and go and attach it to this person's spirit so that this person can achieve the things you're supposed to achieve. This person can marry the person you're supposed to marry. This person can acquire the wealth you're supposed to acquire. This person can get the promotions that were meant for you, like things like that there is an agreement right so some people say it was stolen it wasn't an agreement in the spiritual you know terminology it's a covenant it's an agreement it's just that maybe you are not aware of it but you got into an agreement you got into something you are not aware of all right but 
with the spiritual realm it is all about covenant and agreements same thing with god almighty same things with the kingdom of heaven same things with the kingdom of darkness and the demons and evil spirits the language is a language of agreements and covenants nothing happens outside of agreements and covenants okay so there must have been an agreement that you entered into maybe you entered into it unknowingly or maybe you entered into it indirectly through somebody else right who is very closely connected to you and you share blood with that person all right or directly but knowingly or unknowingly for a lot of people it's unknowingly because no one in their right senses would be going to get into an agreement to exchange their destiny their blessings that god has created for them for them to enjoy and live a beautiful life a good quality of life and they go and willingly exchange it it's very rare that that happens so a lot of times they are entering into this agreement unknowingly that is why it is done through manipulation. There is a lot of manipulation that happens to get that agreement, you know, to be done. That is why videos like this are here, my channel and other channels like this that talk about these topics for you to have spiritual insight so that you can tell when all this manipulation is happening, right? And you can also have a high sense of discernment. Now, as I said, with that agreement, that agreement is not a forever agreement. It's not an agreement that now from today, forever and ever, you will have this person's destiny and you will use it and that's the end of that. No, because it is only God's righteousness that lasts forever. Everything else has a time frame attached to it. But the things of God, the things that are coming from God are the ones that are eternal. They are the ones that are forever. The blessings of God, they are the ones that are forever. But whatever is coming from the kingdom of darkness is not forever. It has time frame attached to it. There is a deadline attached to it. Okay? That is one of the most important things for you to know out of this video is that whoever has went to seek the help of the kingdom of darkness to get blessings, to get your destiny, to get your, your wonderful, you know, uh, things that God has blessed you with or has written for you in the book of destiny about you, as they collect those things and start enjoying and using in their life and feeling so great about it, there is a deadline attached to it. <clears throat> They cannot use it forever, right? There's always a period of time they are given that is attached to that using of your destiny. And so that is very, very important for us to know, especially if you're suspecting that your destiny has been stolen or manipulated. It is for a period of time. It is for a period of time because in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, it tells us there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. That includes kingdom of darkness and all the activities that are happening related to this topic we're talking about today. There is a time for it. It is not forever. Okay. And so <clears throat> one of the important things to know here then is that if there is a time associated with it and a deadline associated with it, then you can be very proactive in terms of ensuring that once this contract expires, once that agreement expires, once that covenant expires, it will not be renewed in your life. <clears throat> there will be no renewal in your life based on the destiny exchange agreement. Okay. So that is where this knowledge is really, really important. Once you know there is a cycle and that cycle signifies the time for this, the time for that, the time for that is coming, the time for this. If you think about your life, especially if your destiny has been stolen or exchanged, there is always going to be a cycle a cycle of different activities that take place. And sometimes if you've been in this process for so long, you can almost tell what is going to happen just based on previous cycles. Like there's a pattern 
you will notice that there is an evil pattern that is happening. You know, every time you get a new job, this happens. Maybe the first year, everything is so good. All your co-workers like you, your boss is very, very impressed with your work. Then this happens. Then you have this type of a dream or something happens or someone comes and gives you some money. You, somebody comes and give you a gift or whatever it is, something happens and then after that the cycle changes some that something changes and you start to notice that you're having problems with your boss your co-workers are not happy with you your work is late this and this starts happening and then you start getting warnings and then this and then at the end you lose your job by the end of the third year you've lost that job and then again you pray you fast you break covenants you do whatever and then again you know there's a breakthrough you get another job things happen like that and then it follows the same same pattern things happen the same way and exactly maybe sometimes it's up to the exact month sometimes up to the exact date this thing happens you know it strikes again and it follows almost the same exact pattern every activity under the heavens a season for every activity under the heavens right a time there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens so you notice that these activities are following a particular schedule and then it happens sometimes even to the day like let's say it's three years apart but 22nd of march this thing happens and then by the 4th of april you don't have a job and then again, you start praying, whatever, whatever. And then by December, things are looking, you know, looking up. There's a breakthrough. You get another job. And then again, 22nd of March, this thing happens. Or you have this dream or whatever it is. Like, start to notice the patterns. If you can write down these patterns, please do. It will be very, very helpful for you. Because this is how you are starting to understand the mysteries of your life, the mysteries of your destiny and your destiny exchange story. Okay, you will start to understand and it will be like a light bulb because when you start to realize this, you start to identify what can you do about it. When you know that this is what usually happens during this time, during this season, this is the activity that happens, you can start to be proactive. You will not wait for it to happen. You will start to be prepared. How are you getting prepared? Spiritually. You start to fortify yourself spiritually using the blood of Jesus. You will start to pray more, pray earnestly, okay? That is the time when you, if you've been praying maybe only 15 minutes at night, you will wake up at midnight to 3 a.m. and do some real fire prayers, you know? You will start to speak in tongues for one hour every night during that time frame because you know this is the time for certain activities happening in your life that is part of that destiny exchange or whatever happened this is the time when you usually get this type of a dream and once this dream comes things are falling apart this is the time such a person comes to offer me you know this and that or we should go and eat or we should do whatever or i receive a gift or i receive money or whatever and once i accept it things are going downhill those things are the indicators of the renewal of the evil agreements okay those things that happen that you remember this thing happens once i have this dream then what follows is just disaster or whatever and it's continually happening when you start to notice this because you've started to write down and you started to notice the patterns then you'll be able to know that okay you'll be able to pinpoint these are the activities associated with the evil agreement somewhere so when it happens and it happens successfully in the dream i'm not able to fight back this person comes and says we should you know go and have food together or we should do whatever i got into this relationship i thought this person was a god-ordained you know person for me 
and then once i said yes to the relationship everything scattered once i said yes to this and that everything scattered once i accepted that dress she gave me everything scattered once i ate that meal with her everything scattered you start to have discernment you start to realize that oh this is the activity that is associated with renewing that agreement and that agreement is what is keeping my destiny being used somewhere by that person that stole my destiny. Now you're piecing together these pieces, right? Like puzzle pieces. You're piecing them together. So what do you do now? You realized when it's coming to this time when I usually get this type of a dream, it means that that cycle is ending. And then this dream is coming in order to get agreement to renew for another cycle so that person can just continue extending you know their lease to using your destiny so what you do is you stay prayed up you amp your spiritual activity you amp your spiritual game so that when it is coming to that time and that activity is going to take place they find a very different person they don't find the same person you were before when it was successful for that evil exchange to happen. They find somebody who is fortified by the blood of Jesus. They find that the blood, blood of Jesus is a hedge of protection around you. They find that you have fasted and you have broken evil agreements iniquities that were part of your bloodline you have broken all of them all the doors that were giving legal right for that exchange to happen have been shut and closed okay they find that you are a warrior in the spirit they find that you have put on the full armor of god and along with that you are holding the sword, which is the word of God. So as soon as they show up, scripture is just rolling off your tongue, okay? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that has risen to condemn me, I condemn it in the mighty name of Jesus. They just find that scripture is rolling off your tongue, you know? As soon as they show up for this activity to renew that evil agreement, to give them an extension of their lease, to use your destiny, they are finding you saying that the Lord our God is a consuming fire. May the fire of the God strike you and consume you in the name of Jesus Christ. So they are finding a very different person. That is the whole point here. As you hear these words, they are finding a very different person. So once they find a very different person, you're fortified, you're also strong spiritually, you've been fasting, so your flesh is weak, but you're spiritually, you are a giant, you are a warrior, and you are having the weapons that you're supposed to use. You're giving praise because praise is also a powerful weapon. You know, you are doing all these things to be ready for that day. So when it happens, when that dream now comes, the outcome will be different. The outcome will be different. If before someone is able to take something from you, somebody is able to steal something from you in the dream, now this time they find that you're fighting back and in fact you defeat them in the dream. So you wake up, you're victorious. In the dream, maybe someone was giving you food to eat or something and you reject it and you deal with them. You defeat them in the dream, you're defeating them in the physical realm, okay? And then maybe in the physical realm, this friend now calls you all of a sudden out of the blue. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't heard from you. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Cooked some food. Please come and eat. It's your favorite meal. We should share a meal together now. It's been a while. Come and eat, eat, eat this meal. They are forcing you to eat. Suddenly, because of the spiritual work that you've been doing, the angels of the Lord have been commanded concerning you. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Sometimes as you're going to eat, the plate falls down and all the food is scattered on the ground. That is it. There is no renewal of that agreement again. Sometimes it's a dress they have given you to put on. You lift it up, you look at it, and it is, it's torn. And there is no way you can put it on. You have to give it back and say, Yo, this dress is torn. 
I don't know how it happened. You can't put it on. Sometimes it's juju. They are coming to plant in your backyard, but they are told that this juju must not come into contact with water before it hits the ground in her backyard. But as soon as they are reaching your compound, there is rain out of nowhere and the person is soaked their whole charm or juju whatever is soaked and that is the end of it the power in the juju is deactivated the renewal cannot happen so things happen like that based on the spiritual work that you've done given that you are prepared when they they are coming to do that rest that renewal okay because of the cycles because like we've said in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. So what keeps the destiny thief using your destiny over and over for a long period of time is that they are successful in the renewal process. They are successful in renewing the evil agreement. They keep on renewing, they keep on renewing, you know, every three years or every year or however long they were given, right? There's always a period of time they are given. And then if they want to continue using it, they must keep renewing. They might just keep, you know, doing these things to renew that, you know, agreement so that they keep using it. Without a valid agreement, they cannot keep using it. It's just as simple as that. So in order for them to keep using it, they must keep renewing the agreement. So for you to know this is to recognize when the period of time is coming, when the lease is expiring. And then they will come in one way or the other. Either they will come physically or through a dream. One of these two to seek renewal of that agreement. So when they come, they should find you well prepared so that it's not possible for that renewal to happen. When it's not possible for that renewal to happen, what happens to them? Their agreement is null and void. So there is no way they can continue to keep your destiny. There is just no way. That is when you notice things happening like they gave you food, you are not able to eat that food or the Holy Spirit in you just told you, do not touch that food. Do not touch that food. Take that food to the garbage right away. And then you realize that after that, things is happening with them. They are losing, you know, whatever it is that they are blessings they have stolen from you you notice their business is not going well you notice they lost that job you notice that divorce has come their way you notice that they are ill you notice whatever thing blessings that they had stolen from you you notice that they are losing all of that because we are told that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous now i had said in a previous video for you to receive back your stolen destiny you must claim it you must submit a claim to god to the courts of heaven you must claim your inheritance and for you to claim it you must have been identified as a child of god according to galatians chapter 4 verse 1 to 7 right so if you've done all of that you receive christ as your lord and savior your identity has been verified that the blood of Jesus is in you and the blood of Jesus now speaks on your behalf so that you can receive back your destiny, your blessings, right? Your inheritance. Now, if you are, you know, all of that, you've done all of that, then your destiny is taken from that person because they are not able to keep up with the agreement. The agreement has expired. So there is no valid agreement that is keeping your destiny with them. Therefore, now at that point, your destiny is restored back to you as the rightful owner of it. If you have not claimed your destiny, but it is the grace of God that has been responsible for that for you not to participate in the renewal. It is just the grace of God that kept you from eating that food. It is just the grace of God that kept you from sleeping with that man. It is just the grace of God that kept you from going to drink that whatever drink they were giving you to drink. It is just the grace of God that kept you from accepting that gift that they were giving you. It is just the grace of God that protected you and ensure that that evil agreement did not materialize. The renewal of it did not happen. What happens? 
the destiny is taken from that person, the destiny thief. They cannot keep it without a valid agreement. They can't keep it. Therefore, it goes into the treasures of darkness until the day when you claim it. When you claim it, it will be given to you. And I've told you how to claim it, right? The right path through Jesus Christ, how to claim it. So it will be there waiting for you. When you claim it, it will be given to you. Now, I know it's not pleasant and it certainly is not easy. It's not an easy process for anyone to go through. But I hope that this video encourages you today and also gives you some insight on what to do when you recognize some of these cycles, when you recognize the patterns so that you can be ready for when the renewal time is approaching. That is the key period of time where you can really make a difference, where you can interrupt that process and it will make a whole lot of difference. It will be a game changer for you. Is if you can learn to recognize, you know, these patterns and then recognize the activities that are happening, you know, for each, for each season in that pattern and then start to do something differently and you will get a different result. Thank you so much. This video is now so long, but I hope that someone has been blessed through this video. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your questions, your comments. Thank you for your emails. I'm reading them and going through them. And very soon we will be able to have a live just so that I can answer some of those questions live. Sometimes it's better to have discussion, right? I will let you know of the date of my first live and I look forward to having you all there. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Shalom.